Hey everyone, Dave Axel. Welcome to the Weekly Band Crawl. Look what I got. Hey guys. I haven't seen this lady in a long time. Long this is time. Heather. And um, she's going to join us for the band crawl, and then we're going to interview. But I've got a surprise in store for you for next Thursday night. So stick around and definitely check that out. Thanks for making the time to do it. Thank you for making time for us. This to is come. awesome. It's this is very awesome. awesome. You, you look fantastic. Thank you. I almost wore that same outfit. Well, you know. Last it's... minute decisions. Last minute decisions. Only one of us can have <laughs> That's the same. It. That's it. Hey, uh, so as you guys all know, um, if you want something on the band crawl, now it's Monday by 7 p.m. I'm usually filming on Tuesday nights. It takes almost 24 hours to get this filmed, edited, uploaded on YouTube, blah, 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 blah. Right? So um, if you can, by uh, mon Mondays at 7 p.m., get me in what you need, and I'll be happy to cover it. And with that, I'm going to jump into the band crawl for the weekend of June 24th and 25th. Or I may not. Hold on. Now I'm jumping into the band crawl. So this is Sanford Brewing Company. Your duo would be fantastic there. We would love to play. You would be Sanford fantastic there. Company. Robin watches the show. Um, she's a good friend of mine. Third Rock Trio is amazing. I finally got to see them. I have guest after guest. It's like, I oh, they're really good. They're really good. They're really good. I, I got to see a show only a little bit, but it was awesome. Um, and I am a big Decaphonics fan. Um, they have a duo, a trio. I think I've seen them as a four-piece before, and they're a corporate band. So they've got a fantastic, just multi-format. They're awesome. Can't go wrong. Food's great. Venue's great. Awesome. Definitely check it out. And um, this Saturday, even though it's not a band crawl thing, they're doing a PTSD awareness thing on the whole street. The city of Sanford is doing it. Very um, cool. But Sanford Brewing Company is going to have all kinds of stuff out front. There's a car show. I uh, got about 40 cars for that. I'll either be bringing the Batmobile, the Mystery Machine, or Gotham One. So something cool will be out there. Definitely check it out. Great place. And they have a Maitland location as well, which is equally awesome. Uh, do you know the people in Acoustic Inferno, Craig and Lindsley? Absolutely. They are They're my good buds. I love them to death. They are a really fun acoustic show. It is not at all what you would expect from acoustic. No, it's it is not. a totally different thing. So definitely check them out. And I have not gotten to see Mike Quick. Um, but if again, my theory is if someone's playing at a good venue, they're going to be good or they wouldn't be there. Right. And so, you know, my PowerPoint doesn't like me today. I apologize, guys. Um, Dexter's Lake Mary. Red line. Red line. John yes. Foscolos. Now, I, I have to try and remember this stuff because I'm old now. But he said Reed is Reed Hayes is on drums one of the nights, I think Friday. Fantastic. And, He's a beast. And Norm Goebel is on the other night. Yep. I believe Very I could be cool. wrong about that. But I think I think Norm is on the other night. Either way, these guys put on a great show. Everyone knows Dexter's Killer Venue. Stop by, check it out. You'll be glad you did. Uh, Franchise Cafe players. Murano. Yep. Cafe Murano. Yep. We played there a couple weeks ago. I still really like that venue. I love that venue. I, uh, it's the, so much dancing. There's a lot of people, and it's always good energy. It's really good energy. Mm -hmm. And it, the crowd's actually shifted over the last three, four years. It's gotten a little younger. younger. Yeah, it's, I've noticed it's, that. It's a very cool venue. Um, franchise players, I say this every time, I've got to have them on the show. Yeah. I should not be a fan of franchise players because they are Midnight Mayhem's probably biggest competition. <laughs> They're awesome. Like, every time I go to their show, I'm like, damn, these guys are good. <laughs> They're, they're a fantastic time. If you want to dance the night away, this is it. Like, these guys are a dance band. You're going to have a blast. And I am going to go see Off the Charts. Haven't even uh, heard. I'm super excited myself. They've been on the show, like, not physically, but their band has been on other venues. Okay. I hear they just played Fredsters a little while ago. They told me, the venue told me that they were great. Um, and they're not normally here. They're normally, like, further Daytona-ish oh. or further south. Like, it's not normal that I've seen them in our area. Looks like they may be breaking in a bit, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, but I'm coming to check that out. They are a great dance party band as well. So that's just a fun weekend of dancing at Cafe Murano. Uh, we've got... Okay, this thing hates me today. Hold on. Okay, this thing keeps hating me. I'm going to figure something out, but let's see what we can do. Uh, let's get it back to the right slide. Okay, The Alley. Have you been there? Of course. Yes. It's Chris, fantastic. I happen. I have to tell you, the alley is outside of our normal type of thing. Mm -hmm. It's more of a bar. Yeah. I'm in a dance band. Yeah. But I love the place. And Chris, the owner, whatever you want, whenever you want it, charity event, awesome. you know, whatever. Like, sure, use the venue, do it. I like, he just seems like a really, really, really nice guy. That's awesome. Um, and I, I'm going to try and get him on the show as one of the venue oh, owners. Cool. Haven't been able to do that yet. Um, but Skin Deep is there on Friday and Saturday night. 
if you're on the scene, you cannot not have seen Skin Deep. If you tell me you haven't, I probably won't believe you. So um, definitely check them out. Amazing show every single time. And as I say, even though it annoys uh, Lee, because Lee's the drummer, good friend of mine, awesome drummer, um, GIF is still my favorite. I first, can listen to that guy sing first time anything. I ever saw them play, half the band was standing on the bar. It was fantastic. Oh, wow. Okay. It okay. was awesome. That's very And they've been, this is year 34 oh my God. for Skin Deep. Yes, 34. You're not even 34 yet. That's how long they've been playing. There like, we go. Castleberry is more than Venus. Um, they are also, they have a duo, they have a trio, they have a full Who's band. Who's in that one? So Kitty is out front on lead vocals. Her husband, Carlos, when it's a duo, he plays guitar, but he's a drummer. Very cool. Um, but he plays guitar for the duo. Um, this, I believe, is the full band. And the full band rotates. You know, it's always awesome. Kitty and Carlos, and then they have other people. They may have this drummer, that drummer. Always a great show. Keeping it fresh. I and like then it. if you want to see rock stars live and in person, Paul Drennan has his band, DBS, there on Saturday night. I've said this before. Um, we have a lot of people on the scene here that are, act in my opinion, unless I'm overstating it, they're actual rock stars. Like, they have gone on tour with the big bands. They have done the arenas. They have done the whatever. Paul is one of those guys. Paul mm -hmm. is one of those guys. Um, just got done with 38 Special. Yeah. Uh, I mean... And, and I've met him a couple of times. I don't know him, but I've met him a couple of times. Always super nice. This is his band. It's going to be incredible. I always hear it's incredible. Like, it's definitely worth checking out. So definitely stop by and say hello. Still hates me. There we go. This thing is not cooperating today. It's me. It is. It must be. It's, it's distracted. Uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, post time, my partner in crime, Tom Cook, is there with Sound Theory. Tom, uh, have you gotten to see Sound Theory? Of course. Uh, they're they're just Phenomenal. a lot of fun. Yep. They're just a lot yep. of fun, and of course, Tom is my partner on the band crawl. And Tom's Definitely. my moody blues buddy. Oh, that's right. That's right. He yep. mentioned when I told him you were going to be yep. here. That's right. Yep. So definitely go by and check them out, and of course, say hi to Deanna. I'm trying to get Deanna to come and do the show too. Oh, she's shy. Oh. That's why I had Mr. Bill. I told her she's oh. not coming. You at least have to send me Mr. Bill. She showed up at a gig and brought me Mr. Bill. That's but sweet. I still need Deanna to come on and do the show. Come on, I'm, Deanna. I'm going to have to just no show up. No one's shyer than me. I'm going to have to show up at post time with like my equipment and be like, sit over there and we're doing it. You know what I mean? Like We're going to have to make this happen. Strap, strap, yeah, strap her in. Strap like, her you in. stay there. We're going to make this happen, I'm telling you. And then OB's in the land. I have not seen the Deadlanders, but they do play all around. So okay. I still go by the whole, if you're on the crawl and you're playing all around, you're going to be great. Yeah. And I, I believe that's true. Uh, and then Saturday, the ever-famous TBD. They do not have a band. Okay. Um, nobody was listed. You know, there seems to be, a, COVID seems to be having a little bit of a resurgence, mm -hmm. right? Like a lot of people have, you know, had it. Um, it seems like a lot of bands have had to cancel. Somebody's been sick. Mm -hmm. I would reach out if your band's looking for a gig because chances are they honestly don't have anybody. Um, so reach out. That could be some place for you. Does it again? Just doesn't like me today. I, I still think it's you, Wing Shack. Um, so this is newly remodeled. Oh, I'm cool. sure you've seen my gen. Yes. Yes. I, I actually was working at the Parrot when they just played this past really? Saturday. Really? Okay. It oh, they, was nuts. Uh, they're Huge another one following. of those top top bands in the area, right? Yep. You've got Crash Rocket, Skin Deep, Rock and Fly. Like the list goes on and on. My Gen is one of them. They're awesome. Yep. And John is a fantastic drummer. Mm -hmm. I've been taking free drum lessons from him for a long time. Nice. Um, I probably owe the guy some money at this point. Um, go by and check it out. This is going to be a great show. And just one more. Didn't have anybody listed. I talk about the bar all the time. Have you, have you been there? I haven't even heard of it. Okay. This is the not franchised down home bar that existed like before the like before the internet and all the social media and all the nonsense right this was where you went after work and you went on the weekend and okay. it's your, your your crowd they're super nice staff they've got a nice area for the bands to play in uh, their people seem to really like live music i've been there to see gen and tonics a couple times nice. like it's just a really cool down home bar i don't right. get east much i need to get you, you need to go to just one more you'll right. have a great time and uh, again if your band's looking for a gig this is a place you can go because they had tbd um, Johnny's other side, I am embarrassed to say, I have still not made it there. I made it um, once to go see Aaron Lightning play, and I have to. I go. couldn't believe how big it was. I, I have to. I, it's on the show, and you it's one go. of like three venues, and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> um, but people really like it. I don't know Joey. Uh, Joey, hope I say this right. Caldereo, Caldereo, Caldereo. Cal I'm going with Caldereo. 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 I would say. Forgive me if I got it wrong. Have not seen Joey, yeah. um, and I'm guessing Beetlebeat 
is some kind of Beatles tribute. I would think so. I'm just thinking, like, I could be wrong. It could just be a, a band with an English name. <laughs> but I I think it's going to be a Beatles tribute. And, again, people tell me how much they like that venue. Yeah. So stop on by. Yep. It hates me today. It's all your fault. I'll take it. You should take it. It works every show unless you're here. And then it's like, no, I'm not doing it. Bloodhound Brew. Have you been there? Nope. Um, it's down by Con uh, Conroy and Kirkman. Okay. I know that. Okay. I haven't had a chance to stop in, and I keep saying this. They had their own rotation of bands. Like, you see them roll through there a lot. Like, they have a lot of the same ones on an eight-week, you know, rotation. Right. Album. But you, I haven't seen most of these bands anywhere else. So, this place has got to have its own cool little vibe. Right. And its own cool crowd. Yeah. And so, I'm anxious to, at some point, check it out. I'm going to have sure. to. It's got a cool name, so. I like the name. I like the logo. Yeah, I, I like about everything to say. about it. Yeah, absolutely. And so, I haven't seen the Chad Crib Band or Joe Ride. Same theory applies. You're on the call. Yep. You're in a venue. You're going to be good. So, gotta go check it, it out. Um, this is Long's Log Cabin. I know about them. I, I haven't been there yet, but we're playing there in July. Like, at some point in July, we're out that way. Yeah. Um, I'm told you basically go to Port Orange, hang a left, and drive until you hit Long's Log Cabin, which is like Wallaca, right? Is it, yeah, it, okay. I would say so. Yeah. The owner has been super friendly because when they joined the, the band crawl, there's nothing I said about them that was right. I had them in the wrong city. I had I had absolutely everything wrong. They, um, This is celebrating its fifth year. By now, it may be the sixth. And I'm always impressed with that because they went through the middle of the pandemic. Right. During the Untouched. kind of the beginning of the place and they made it. That's awesome. Um, and they're they're further out there. So I mean yeah. that's very cool. I hear the crowd loves live music. Um, you know, just really likes having the bands. That is Bill Hamilton's band, Psycho Magnus. Yeah. Uh -huh. I played with them for almost a year and a half. Yep. Uh, Bill is incredible in every regard. I know. Like if you have not gotten to see a Psycho Magnus show, Go see a psycho manager. I love how unassuming he is too. He's he's a very very cool guy, and yeah. you know now he has Primal Crew, which is his Motley Crew tribute. And I am a big Jet Decker fan, always have been. As a matter so of fact, I. I joke that I am largely Jet Decker's fault because I decided to start a band and play drums when I saw the Trans Ams. I was like, I'm going to go do that. So um, he is the drummer in Bill's Primal Crew. Fata fantastic drummer, fantastic singer, fantastic. I'm excited to like, go see that. Those two together, I keep joking. It's like a Wonder Twins type of thing. Like there's too much talent in, right. in the one band, and right. they're they're a lot alike. Yeah. So I can't wait to check that yeah, out. So definitely awesome. go see Psycho Magnus. That's going to be a great show. And I'm no longer there messing up the drums. So it's a really cool lineup. You should definitely check it out. Uh, we all know Main, Main Street, Street Station. Everybody knows it's staple. And I have to say, I think it was last week. If I'm wrong, so be it. Um, it was Phaedra's birthday, so happy birthday. Happy birthday. And she made this long post, um, which I'll be honest, when it's a long post, I skim it, I get the gist, I don't really read it. Um, but, um, so you're she saying you never read my long ones? No, I'm just kidding. Only yours. So, uh, <laughs> so um, she was apologizing because she couldn't be at one of the celebrations because she was just a little bit overwhelmed. Yeah. That city has put Phaedra through the ringer. Um, like, through the ringer. They, they have tried every trick in, in the book to shut them down, to close the stage, to kill Bike Week, to... The, I mean, there's nothing they have not thrown at Phaedra's bar. Yeah. And Phaedra comes out the other side every single time, which I think is awesome. I'm thrilled to see you guys are still doing what you do. Yep. Don't let the idiots get you down. There's more of them than you. Yep. But this weekend, Redgate. Don't know them. No. A little close to the name Redline. So maybe those bit. guys can get together. You have a line with a gate in it, right? Like... It could, it could be a thing, John. Could be. Um, big Engine, huge fan, fantastic band, um, a touring band. Uh, always put on a killer show uh, no matter where they are, and, and they're just a great time. Yeah. So if you get a chance to go by and check that out, you'll be glad you did, and you can thank me later. Uh, Boot Hill right next door. Tiffany Sweet. I haven't had a chance to see her. Do you know her? Mm -mm. I've only, again, I actually always say I've always heard good things. I promise you if somebody showed up and was like, wow, that band sucks, I would not say anything. Yeah. So I have only heard good things. Nobody listed on Saturday night. Now I'll tell you the weird thing, not hassling the boot hill, save your hate mail, just telling you. They're always like hard to get the, the, the venue to tell us who's playing there. Interesting. They're very busy. It's a yeah. world famous bar. Absolutely. Like, they're just buried. And so there may be somebody there, but we don't always we get don't the information. Yeah. We just we just don't always get it. But I find it hard to believe that the Someone legendary Boot Hill Saloon, twenty six thousand or twenty nine thousand Facebook followers, like it's a it's a big deal. Yeah. Uh, they may or may not have somebody Saturday night. And if you're with Boot Hill and you're watching, I'm not hassling you, but give me your stuff. 
I really want to cover it. I love the venue. You know, make sure I get it. it it'll help out, and all my people won't call you and say you don't have a band. Uh, the Dog House have not been here. Port Orange. Nope. Uh, don't know King Steel. Sounds really cool. I yeah, like the does. name a lot. It does. Uh, Highway Jones, I've seen the name on the crawl before, but haven't gotten to see the band. Um, and I actually have not been to the doghouse, so I need to make time to do that too. But go ahead and buy, stop by, check it out. You know, it's supposed to be a great venue. This is going to be a fantastic night. Uh, this is Hard Rock in Daytona. Yeah. I'm sure you've been to oh, the Hard yes. Rock for sure. Oh, yes. So TribuCon is, I hope I get this right because the lineup changes around. Rob from Barfly and awesome. Alias on Bass. Dave Lauber, I think, is still playing drums. Sterling from Rockafly on guitar. Glenn Bailey from Crash Rocket out front. Brian Cadillac on the keys. It is, it, it is. That's a head spinner right there. And Glenn is just, there. there's like 10 or 15 one. musicians on the scene that I always say are ridiculous. And Glenn Bailey is one of them. The guy can, there are songs that Crash Rocket does that I like better than the album. Right. Like, he can just sing. Yeah. Oh, and, and they put on such a tribute con and Crash Rocket put on such a solid show. So they're doing, this is part of the Tribute at the Beach, Rock the Beach series oh, from cool. Hard Rock. Um, they cover Journey. I'm going to get it wrong because there's eight bands Journey, Foreigner, Styx, Scorpions. Nice. I want to say Bad Company, and I'm going to stop so I don't get the names wrong. Um, that's going to be a ridiculous show. That sounds awesome. And right behind them on Saturday night, Harlequin. We warm. We were actually their opening act at Hard Rock last weekend. Oh, cool. We got everything ready. We warmed everything up. We got the stage set. We we made sure it's neat and clean and ready to go. Uh, those guys are so much fun. It was recently Buzz's birthday. Happy birthday! Um, Happy birthday. So Britt is out front. She is just a ball of energy and excitement. Uh, Karen is on the keys. Buzz, like I said, is on the drums. Steve Roberts is on guitar. Um, their bass player, so the whole band is kind of, they're very animated and very into it, like big time. And the bass player kind of does what I would do in that situation, and he's like, I'm just going to do this and just don't even look over here. And so I don't know his name, so please forgive me. Every week I say that. Every week I'm like, I'm going to go look up his name. The whole band is fantastic. If you get a chance to check it out, you will definitely be glad you did. Uh, Saints, Saints and Sinners, Sinners is new to the crawl. I've only had them on a couple weeks. Yep. Um, Fracture, I hear nothing but good things. 90s rock and roll, some ro some general rock and roll, just in high energy in your face, let's have fun rock and roll production. It's so nice to see 90s kind of popping its head into the... It's going to be more and more. It's going to well, be yeah, more and time. more. It's time. Right, exactly. The, the A lot of the people who were listening to the classic rock have kind of aged out a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, not all of them, so nobody, again, no hate mail, right? Um, you know, but it, it seems like now 70s and 80s is bigger, more towards 80s. Yep. And now you've got, you know, Cobalt 27 is an amazing 90s rock band. So you're going to have this, you know, this stepping forward of the 90s music. They're definitely one of the bands doing it. Dr. Sprocket I'm, is, is Scott Seaton on the drums, which I knew for sure. He said he has Dean, I want to make sure I get this right. Dean Alcher on guitar with him, which is another local rock star. Played a bad company, been all around. He has a really cool lineup, and this is his band. So I don't. I think they're fairly new. Right. I haven't seen them on. The I call. haven't even heard. That's no, awesome. Scott has off the chain, which is his. That is the only that I know of acoustic show mm -hmm. that is a drummer only. Interesting. He plays drums and sings, and I guess he's got the tracks or whatever that yeah. back him up. So this is his band. Very cool. I'm excited to see what people think of that. Very you cool. You know what I mean? Anything and, unique is always going to draw, I think. And if you're going to throw yourself into the fray, you do it at a place like Saints and Sinners. They love live music. They're another pseudo-famous venue. Yeah. Like, don't dip your foot in the pool somewhere where nobody will know if you made a mistake. Right. Go right to Saints and Sinners <laughs> and either put it out or don't, do it right? There. So good for you guys. And then Gun Shy is there on Sunday. I have not seen them. Mm -hmm. um, they've played locally at Fredsters a little while ago. I followed them on online. They're drummers in my uh, the group, my drum set, which is my drum group. Uh, they seem like they're great. Yeah. Um, and the problem is, I'm always playing when everybody's always playing. Yep. And and if I go to my wife on a Sunday and I'm like, hey, you haven't seen me all week, and I played Friday and Saturday, we're gonna go see a band. She's like, here's your papers. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> so I apologize, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure that's gonna be a fantastic show. Uh, Okay, I'm going to say this. This will be your test. Randy Williams. No idea, right? Randy is is a best-kept secret, and so is his band, Pop, Pop Culture, Culture Poets. Poets. These guys are awesome. It is a yacht rock party, 80s, 70s, not like you name it, 
and they are so ridiculously talented I'm because excited. Randy Randy's a pro. He's he's been doing it a long time, and he lines up these these groups of of just superstars. Like these guys are all playing something big, and then they play with Randy, That's and cool. then he plays with them, and so. They don't play as many clubs. They're more corporate. They're more okay. the villages. It's a fantastic show. That's awesome. Like, really fantastic show. And every time I mention the name, they're like, mm -hmm. yeah. So you have to check out Pop Culture Poets. If you're out at the beach, do it. Tell them I said hi. Um, it, it's you will, not, you will not regret it. You will thank me later. I figured out why the PowerPoint's going slow. I have to come off of it and back on it because you're distracting it. It happens. Yeah, we're going to figure that out. Okay, right up the street. Have you been to, to New Smyrna Beach? I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. So right up the street, a block or two away from Traders, is Flagler Tavern. Really nice venue. Uh, uh, Stereo FM is there. I've only heard great things about Stereo FM. I have a couple friends on the music scene who are like, oh, no, it's this one, this one, this one. It's a good band. Um, and it's kind of part of this three-group crawl. Right, you can walk a block and a half away and go to Flagler Tavern, and then when you're done doing that, you can walk a literally across the street on a diagonal and go to Peanuts. I, it's funny, I don't drink. I don't know if you knew that or not. I don't drink. Um, never been drunk. Remember. Don't do any of that. And so I'm not normally a bar person. Right. You know what I mean? It's like just not my thing. I like this bar. That's awesome. It's got a really cool casual on the beach local bar vibe yeah you know what i mean it's i don't know how to explain it yeah and so i'm also going to clear up some confusion train wreck is there there are two train wrecks on the band crawl this week i don't know which one's which i couldn't tell you but it's not a mistake okay tom verified it so we're gonna have to figure that out all right right there may be legal battles involved because because is aaron still doing train wreck aaron to Lightning? my knowledge okay so we're gonna have to have a chat but anyway i don't know which train wreck this is no idea. Could All be right. Aaron Lightning. It's like a mystery game. Right? I like it. So I don't know. And then I'm assuming they're actually doing a dueling piano show. They have a stage for it. That would be super cool. It's super cool. We once played at Obie's, blew a tire on the way there on the ambulance, and Stevie covered while we got there, That's or while awesome. I got there, and played dueling piano. Stevie Q, massively talented and does dueling pianos. We got there and we were like, okay, be ready in a minute. Like, Take your time. Dueling pianos is amazing. Like, I could have gone home. So definitely check that out. It's going to be a fantastic time. Um, and I really think you'll enjoy that bar. We're moving into St. Cloud. Do you go down to St. Cloud at all? I worked off of Osceola Parkway for about a year and a half. And I literally left and came back. And okay. I wish I had have really explored. Because yeah, they it, have a lot of really good places. Out they there. do. And Garage Bar is one of them. There's three down there. <clears throat> I happen to be a drunken parrot fan, personally. Um, but I like all the venues. I, I have not played any of them yet. Um, we were supposed to play Drunken Parrot, and then we got a member got sick. Mm. And so we couldn't, and I have to receive Anyway, long story. So um, Garage Bar. Scott Baker Band. Haven't seen them yet. But the rundown is Rafa and Rookie on Drums. And just, if you're looking to just dance and have a, it's funny. They put on a really fun, energetic show that's casual. Mm -hmm. Very like, cool. Like, you can sit there and relax. Or you can go and dance or whatever, but you're going to feel it either way, which is very cool. Like, that he's just cool. a very good front man. Oh, I know. And he's going to put you I've, in your I've comfort zone no matter what. phenomenal. Yeah, so definitely go check that out for sure. Tell them we said hello. And then right up the street, so I put a Here space. We go. That's how I'm separating them. The, the newer one is getting a space. <laughs> no pun intended. But I don't know who's who. I still yeah. don't know. Bruise and Blues looks like an awesome place. The yeah. stage looks amazing. Um, <clears throat> have not been there yet to play. Right. Um, but looks awesome. Trainwreck is there, and then I love the name Vintage Radio. That's super Haven't cool. seen it before. Don't know the band. Love the band name. Uh, definitely check that out. Drunken Parrot, like I mentioned. There's your place. So here's what I like about this. They live stream the shows. They, you can go to their Facebook page. New Standard did that. And, um, yes, for like the eight hours they were open, they were doing Unreal. that. The, um, they have a camera on the band with the whole, you can hear everything. And then they have individual cameras on each member. That's so and cool. it's around the edge and the band's in the middle. That's neat. It's very, very cool. That is cool. Very cool. Um, Bad Manners is there on Friday and Julie with Black Sheep is there on Saturday. Sweet. They are fantastic. Uh, you, you cannot go wrong. It is a really, really cool show that jumps around. There's a dance song, and then there's Evanescence, awesome. and then there's like it's this it's this rock and roll show with like a little bit of dance music going in there. Just run. I think what happened is so Julie played with Midnight Man with me for a long time, 
and I think she just misses those. <laughs> yeah, right? yes. I, doubt, I doubt it highly, but <laughs> it's going to be a great show. Check it out for sure. Oasis, Oasis. Saloon. There's no one on the scene that does not know Chuck and the Oasis Saloon. Yep. A staple yep. for sure. Yep. Um, the Essentials. Now that's Jess Emery. Right. And is Rachel Stump with him? I'm not sure. I, I mean, know it's him. Right. But I think the other person rotates. I believe so, so. Don't hold me to. I met him. He came out to our short cafe in Murano. He is a tall guy. He is a big guy for he sure. He came over and I'm like, oh, what the? Oh, hi. <laughs> like, super nice. Yeah. Thrilled you came out and said hello. It was very nice to meet you in person. And then Saturday, more than Venus. So you can check him out there. If you didn't check him out at the other bar, definitely go by. It's going to be a fantastic show. Um, and this is Oasis on the River. Now, unfortunately, when I get the information on the bands, that's what I get. Gotcha. They have a Rush tribute band. It could be anybody. Right. Right. I'm hoping it's Rush Hour with okay. Reed Hayes. I was going to say. I don't know. Because one night, I know he's with Red Line one night at Dexter's. Right. I don't know. And they have a Sunday show, which Reed did not send me, but I found it online Reed. and I took it. But I found it online and took it. So I don't know what Rush Tribute, this band, uh, excuse me, Rush Tribute band this is, right. but it's definitely going to be worth checking out. And Oasis on the River is fantastic. It's a cool venue. It's, it's been really neat. It's, it was Paradise Cove. Yes. It was Crawdaddies. Yep. It was Dock Siders. Just for those of you who are like, what is it? You probably knew it under one of those names. Yep. If you don't know it under the new current name. And then, let's see. First and last hat. Ocala. So I know you haven't okay. ventured out there yet. I was like, I haven't no. even heard of it. A lot of our bands here are now playing there. I see Overkilt is there, Sound Theory is there, Crash Rockets there, nice. Tribute Con. So it's, it's cool. Right. Um, I hear that they love live music. It's one of the few venues out there. You know, there's uh, O'Callaghan's, um, which I know is like Torn's home base. Uh, there's this one, and I think there's one more. It, it's, it sounds like a really cool place. I do not know Chris Real's. Don't know, but if you're playing there, you're either good or you're in big trouble because they like live music, right? So I'm going to go with you're good. You're good. And then this is Pinto's uh, 25th year. Yeah. 25th year. I'm glad to see they're starting to book some more because I remember they. Had oh, every week. That's every week. Awesome. So on, on Friday, it's the Witch Doctors. Don't know the band. Very cool name. Yeah. On Saturday, you yourself can be Heather Ladd. Buy the outfit, get up, sing some songs. It'll be a great time. So definitely go by and check it out. Muldoons, we started adding them a couple weeks ago. Awesome. Uh, Justin McLeod, who's been there several times, mm -hmm. still the same theory. Yep. I see you, you gotta be good. And Saturday is Brad Floyd. And then on Fredsters, so Fredsters is a newer venue for us, actually a newer venue period. Yeah. They're only three, four months in. I hadn't even heard of that. Huge stage. Wow. Like, I like post time, so I say this, I'm not saying anything negative, but it's like they inflated it. It's it's the Adrian Mann is one of the owners, and he is the person who ran Dexter's Winter uh, Winter Park. Okay. Right. A lot of people hear that and they're like, "Oh, I know who that is." The food is incredible. Yeah. The place holds a hundred people sitting, like, and there's nice. lots of room. That's nice. It's got a big dance floor. It's oh, got this cool. the all the tables and then like a sitting area and a beautiful patio. Like, nice. it is nice. Um, and Barfly is there on Thursday. That's going to be a great show. That's going to be Gina on the keys. Rob, Scott on the drums. Uh, if they're guitar players in town, he, he has a job that pulls them around. Otherwise, I'll have a sub and then Hunter. That's cool. So that's going to be fantastic. And then on the weekend, <coughs> Harlequin. Harlequin. If you don't want to go to Daytona and see them on the big stage by the beach, just right. saying, you can see them Friday at Harlequin. It will be a great show. And Saturday, this I think is a band of doctors, believe it or not. <laughs> They're called Running With Scissors. And I, if I remember right, it's 80s music, but don't hold me to That's that. That's cool. They're, they're regulars there, so go check it out. Sully's Backstreet Bar in Melbourne said this last week. Thrilled they're back on the crawl. Uh, the town had kind of shut them down for a while. Oh, wow. It was kind of nuts. Um, Friday and Saturday, nobody listed. So okay. you want to play Melbourne, hit them up. You never know. And I love the name Switch and Whiskey. Switch and Whiskey. Seeing the name around on the crawl, having right. seen the band, uh, going to be awesome. And then... This is this is where you're going to be next week. Indeed. Not this week. This week, Mark and Jenna Loria. Mark is from my generation. Yes. Uh, and that's his wife. And they have a duo. And it's not... Sometimes they bring in Dominic. This is just a duo. 7 to 10, CJ's Italian Kitchen. Uh, they're part of the reason I'm fat. Yeah. Like, the food there is really good. It is good. Um, so definitely check it out. And we're going to talk to you on the interview. And we'll talk more about it. But uh, Heather's going to be there next week. We'll get into that. This... 
Reed Hayes, who didn't yep. message me. How cool a promo shot is that? Very cool. How cool, like that's a really cool promo shot. Yeah. They've got the Neil uh, Peart octagonal riser thing. Yep. This is awesome. This is the Rush Hour tribute band. I'm hoping that's who's at Oasis, but I don't know. Yeah. There's plenty of Rush tribute bands. These guys are going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Just the fact that, have you seen Reed play yes. Neil Peart like on yes. YouTube, on his videos or whatever? Yes. They make it look easy and then you hang up your drumsticks and you don't play yeah, for you're like, yeah, I'm That's it, I'm done, right? Yeah. Definitely go check it out. It's going to be a fantastic show. Um, stop by. Alias, I have this right. Alias is Hunter, Rob, and whoever shows up. They just pull a bunch of musicians together and they do the barfly thing without barfly. That's it's cool. just Hunter, Rob, et al. I love right? it. Seminal Harley, 11 a.m. on Sunday. And this week it's Dave Reynolds from Gen and Tonics. It's Greg Thompson, the drummer from Sound Theory. Uh, it's going to be a great show. Great show. Go by, check it out. You'll be glad you did. Uh, first turn. So, Speed Limit 70 is there. Susan and Thomas, everyone knows them. They're fantastic as a duo. They're fantastic individually. Super talented. Um, Rob Amico is going to be on bass from awesome. Barfly and Alias. I love me some Rob. And and Norm Goble is going to be on drums, which awesome. is another free drum lesson. I should start labeling all of these. Free drum lesson, free guitar lesson, you know, wherever they're going. So go by and check it out. This, okay, so I had Shadow Cabinet here last week. I apologize. I just realized that Bob Cole is like the boy in the bubble in this picture. I mean, do that. Um, and they explained to me, because I tease them about their headshot, because it looks like, you know, they've just been arrested for three vicious crimes. They just gave them one more try to save money. Right. This is how 90s alternative bands do this. This is their thing. It is. Totally get it. My it bad. Really is. I stand corrected. Um, they are at Fiddler's Green on Friday and Saturday at Magical Meat Boutique in Mount Dora. Um, so that's going to be an awesome set of shows. If you saw the interview last week, they've got, if it's alternative, this is the band. Really? They, now, Rusty has Love Song, which is his Cure Tribute band, which is incredible. Yep. These guys do all the bands. They do all the different bands. So if you like that music, I think this is your only option, literally outside of Rusty's wow. Cure Band, which is the one, but it's an amazing show. Yep. Rowdy Jameson Band, country band, lots of different members, um, so they can rotate instruments, the whole thing. They are at Gators, Riverside, and Sanford this Saturday from 3 to 7. We have, see, I got to move it. I'll put it back on. You're distracting me again. Kings County, big fan, touring band. If you didn't see the interview, like, you have to watch that. These guys were like Chris Angel's band for a while. That's awesome. And they've been all over the globe. Like, That's all over cool. the globe. Um, and so they have a three-piece and a four-piece. This is going to be the four-piece. They're at Captain Hiram's Resort in Sebastian Friday from 730 to 11. Great group of guys. And they have their own uh, music out for sale. Awesome. Um, they have originals, the whole bit. So definitely check that out. Show Very some support. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, these guys are coming next week. So... Every time I see the name Murder Hornets, every time every guest sees the name Murder Hornets, they're, they're, they're awesome. That's cool. Yeah. I love it. I know nothing really? about Murder Hornets. Like, I know the members, but that's it. Who's in that? No, see, so you can't quiz me because I don't know that one. Okay. okay. Yeah, I don't know that one. But they're coming next week, um, which is going to be exciting. Yeah. And uh, the Doghouse, so they're on Friday from 6 to 10. On Saturday, Duplexer, which is a duo, um, is going to be there from 12 to 4. Um, you know what? I didn't put where they're going to be, did I? Oh, yes, I did. So from 12 to 4, I know what I did now. Duplexers from 12 to 4. Murder Hornets is 5 to 9. Both on Saturday at the Alibi in Geneva. Geneva. Both there. Uh, fifth anniversary party for the Alibi. So kudos cool. to you guys. Riding through the pandemic wave and coming out the other side. That is awesome. Do you know Sesame Plexer? Sesame Plexer. And the Duplexer. Yes. Is the. Part of this. Yes. Part now, here's the quiz, though. What's the name from? It's a great question. Though. Ah, okay. So some music trivia for you that may not be right. Okay. But Sesame Plexer is, you remember the movie Adventures in Babysitting? Yes. <clears throat> Elizabeth Shue is the babysitter. Yes. Her boyfriend cheats on her. Yes. With a girl named Sesame Plexer in the movie. How's that? That's awesome. How's that? I, I don't know if it has anything to do with that because there's a, like somebody's died and there's a skull and crossbow so it may be totally different but i saw that and was like that's a little bit of a coincidence so next you know i'll have to ask them like tell me you Very know tongue in cheek. does I that come it. from there i don't know um friday duplexer right comfort in and sweets 3 p.m uh saturday they'll be at the alibi just told you from 12 to 4 and then sunday james crouch and dina do an acoustic duo at the boot hill saloon from three to six so three chances to check them out in one form or another um, this is the Lynn Gibson Project. So Henry Levine 
one of my favorite humans, is on drums for this. Um, and I don't know any of the other members of the band. Lynn seems very nice. She's messaged me a couple of times. Uh, I'm just thrilled to see Henry back out on the scene. Don't yeah. care what he's doing. Yeah. He's just too talented to not. Um, and so they're at Fish on Fire on Saturday at 7 p.m. So if you're in the area, go by and check them out. And uh, Scott Wackerman sent me this. Muddy Puddle. I actually like the graphic. They are doing Fish on Fire on Friday at 7 o'clock. So, Muddy Puddle Friday, Lynn Gibson Project on Saturday. Um, Muddy Puddle seems like a really fun band. Like, they just all their pictures look fun. I've seen some videos. Classic rock. I was going to say. Uh, classic rock. Do we know what um, they play? But, yeah, it seems like a really fun group. Um, awesome. So, go by and check them out. Everyone knows I'm a huge Dave Hayes fan. Doesn't matter. Wheelhouse, Papa Wheelie, uh, Nobody's Fool. Doesn't matter. Whatever. Super I just, talent. Yes. Um, Jack is awesome. He's the guitar player from Papa Wheelie. They have their duo, uh, Wheelhouse Acoustic. Magical Meat Boutique on that Friday. Awesome. Yep, 9 o'clock. Check them out for sure. And Saturday, June 25th, they're going to be at the Whiskey, Dr. Phillips. Um, they make really nice graphics for their shows. Very cool. I say that all the time, so kudos to you guys. Um, really nice graphics. And it makes my job easier because I'm like, oh, the slide. Drag the graphic on it. <laughs> Copy paste. Done. <laughs> um, so this is more than Venus. Now, I covered their one show. I told you they're going to be at Sorrento on Saturday. It's the full band. They're also going to be at Castleberry's on Friday. I still, the poster was cool. It, yeah. ma it made it in the mix. Yeah, that's, that's all I'm saying. Cool. Made it in the mix. Go by, check them out. Our friends in Raging Sun. I used to say, it's funny. So this is Jason, who used to be the singer for Donkey Punch. Oh, okay. Yes, I don't know how to say, Jason's going to yell at me for this. I don't know how to say Jason's last name. So I always call him Jason Menudo. Which is totally not appropriate because he knows, like, if any band he is not, it's Menudo. Right. 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 Um, great front man. Uh, super talented band. Jay Atkinson's in there. Williams on the drums. Nice. Uh, it, it's just a great lineup all the way around. Um, I used to just get on here and be like, they're a rock band. They are, but they've added some really cool stuff. They've added, you know, The Heat Is On by Glenn Frey, oh. and they've got Turn Up the Radio by Autograph, and they've That's got cool. Midnight Oil, Beds of Burn, like wow. all this cool stuff. Go check them out. It's just going to be a killer show. Saturday, 17 North in DeLeon Springs, 7 to 11. Definitely go by and say hi. And on Sat, this is a new band. These guys messaged me and said, we'd love to be on the band crawl. And I said, sure. Uh, Groove Slayers. Cool I name. love the name. Groove That's normally what my band says when I make a mistake. They're like, you're slaying the groove. Could we stop? Slayer. Could we stop? Um, this is going to be awesome. I can just tell by the picture. Like, yeah. they got the saxophone. They got, yeah. this is going to be cool. Saturday, 7 p.m., three odd guys brewing with Groove Slayers. I love it. Anytime love you it. have horns, like. <laughs> I love it. I I'm absolutely there. love it. Oh, yeah. I love it. Rachel Stump, everyone knows I'm a big fan. Thursday, she is with Our Friends Electric at the Hard Rock Daytona. That is a ticketed show. You have to buy tickets if you want to go, but Rachel by herself is worth it, and I hear the band is incredible. Yep. And then the next night, she is at Beaches in Daytona with Our Friends Electric. Awesome. So you can see two different shows available for you from them. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still recovering from a cold, so just bear with me. That is Mark Horan has a magazine online that for whatever reason more people do not know about hmm. this is he has a central florida section it's all music magazine in the top there's a central florida section or if you go to allmusicmag.com it's just central florida okay he is listed i didn't find a band that is not wow. like you can type in a band and it's like, here they are that's cool Thirty thousand visitors a month wow really big amount of traffic it's free it's free Go on. Your band profile is probably already there. Fill in your shows. There's no reason not to take advantage of that track. Absolutely. None. <clears throat> Midnight Mayhem is there. It, it, you should definitely check this thing out. Okay. It, it, it's just definitely go take a look. You will be glad you did, and we all need as much promo as we can get. You know, Especially now where people are like, you know, money's a little tight, gas is a little tight. Tell them where you are. Tell them what you're doing. This is a great place to do it. Awesome. And then that is... The entire PowerPoint malfunctioning bankroll. We did it. We did it. We survived. We, we now, powered through. Now, she's being very modest because Heather is extremely talented. She's brought one of her partners in crime with her, and they have a very unique thing. Uh, we're going to talk about it in a minute. I'm going to interview them and go through it. And you can see it for yourself next week, Thursday, 7 to 10, CJ's Italian Kitchen in Longwood. You can join me there because I'm going. I want to check it out. Uh, but I'm going to interview her, so stick around in the meantime. Have a great weekend. Go out. If you're playing, have a killer show. If you're going to watch, 
Go out, stay safe, and have some fun. We, we appreciate you guys coming out to see the bands. We appreciate you watching the show. I'm going to take this lady to the couch. See you guys in a bit. Bye.